Hi AJ, this is a bike. Um, I just sort of send you a video for a, like a reality check. So the existing tank, um, the longest from from here um, to here is 52 and a half, uh, sorry, 51 and a half centimeters in length. Underneath, um, it's 49 or 49 and a half centimeters. But the, the tap is about here, so it's easy access. So I was thinking that if we've got these measurements correct, or roughly in, in the right sort of uh, area, that the Norton tank would be, you know, resting about here. So um, I did this from uh, just, you know, from Photoshop, from est estimating uh, the, the rough, rough uh, dimensions of it. And I think it would sit on top of here, which would mean that if you have um, a fuel tap right on the back end um depends on how far away it is like the width here okay so where, where the tank is probably going to sit I'm, i think it's, you've got about six inches there or or 15 centimeters and so it might be best to have the fuel tap further forward and i've seen a, another norton tank where it's slightly further forward and that might be the best option just start to show you this so I, I think we've got lots of space to play with so from the headstock um that's that's 60 you know nearly two foot right there um this oil filler is one thing to think about so you know i mean the to 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 check the to check the oil um it may be possible with the existing design to sort of get access to that pretty much um in terms of fixing the old tank would would go on there and that doesn't matter they can get rid of that um so I have to think of another way to um, to to weld some fixings on here so it would um, be solid. So the existing tank is ninety um, millimeters. It feathers in slightly, so it it's very slightly smaller at the top as you probably expect. Um, but that's going to leave plenty of room. Um, the widest point I think on the on the, um, on this oil in tube is right here where that weld is. And if you wanted to increase the volume of the tank, um, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but um, 90 is more than wide enough. Like you can see here, um, there's there's loads of room to breathe right along, right along that tube. It's it's narrowest. Um, I guess you know even you probably get away with even even a you know 85 it's quite narrow here so that's um you know it's about six, um, 60 round about here i reckon this gauge just about reaches halfway so that's 76 in metric um a slightly wider bit here i can only get the gauge on onto half of onto half of it like so but what's that um well i'm guessing that'll be probably about probably about 80. all right so that's that's more or less 80 using farmyard technology so that 80 fits on there so um that's probably about the as as you know just as to be wide enough to fit over 80 so 90 you know maybe even you want if, if you want to improve um, the capacity 90 which is you know that's, that's let's just have a look at how much space there is in there so at the front there you've got an inch on one side pulling put the tank over to one side at the front there's like there's like an inch of space there you know, don't necessarily need all that space at the back pulling it to one side there's, there's less room at the back but i can get my fingers in there that tilts about 10 mil about 10 mil tool so that freely will get in there so so yeah if, if that was 80 you know then it would fit that would be 80 would be a bit tight but maybe maybe 85 i'm thinking particularly at the back will be um you know more than enough one concern i've got is if that tunnel's not big enough um it's just going to be in the wrong place all right so bearing in mind um this tank is hopefully slightly more bulbous than the one that you make i'm hoping that the one you've got there is more slick looking
and comes down just very slightly lower. I've, I've made this too big. It's, see that line there? It should be coming down more here. So, because um, that's sitting right on the top there. So if I was just wait a minute, get, just put cardboard on top of that, you were kind of, um, you know, it's looking like that at the top. And I don't know whether it, I don't know whether it will, because this is the issue here is on full lock. You know, if that's if that if that angle is wrong, then you, it's going to be um, hitting the tank. Um, I'm not sure. What, I, I've got no idea what that angle is. You know, I've just I've just based it on based it on that, and just just cut square. So that might not be an issue at all. Um, but I've got no idea. Um, I have to sort of physically look at a tank, as opposed to um, judging from photographs. So the cut, cut away at the back, um, on the existing one might actually work there, but um, we'll have to see. So um, it would be good if it would kind of roughly follow that more or less horizontal line, as opposed to be, you know, rised up or, or dipped down. The problem I've got is there are several kinds of Model 18 tank, and I'm not too sure which one you're making. Um, from the illustrations, I haven't got the actual. You know, I've got the, I've got an idea, um, but the, the the main problem is I don't know how high it is. That would give me some clue as to what what kind of tank you're making. Okay, excuse the. Um... Excuse the lines on this on the screen. It's probably easier for me to talk you through this. Um, so I've got a bit of a dilemma in terms of design and you know what qualifies uh, model 18 tank. So the first ones that came out were the flat ones. Um, then this is the model that I like the look of. So and that came out on different bikes. So this is a model 18. Yeah, so it's a really squat, long tank, quite a flat tank as well. If if you look there, that's got quite a flat top to it. Um, so that's that's a pretty tank. Um, again, that's got you know, illustrating. It's got quite a flat top. To this one is the ES2. It's practically the same tank. Um, very similar. That's the Norton Junior. So. Again, it's the uh, same kind of tank. This is an 18, but it's a different tank. I don't know if this is a car that you make, so it's more of a bulbous. It looks very slightly bigger tank, and then it gets even bigger, and you know, go into the 40s, and that's an even bigger tank on that 18. And that's completely different. That's the Model 18 as well. It's a really long, sort of... Uh, and, yeah, just looking at these ones, you uh, you know, you can see through the ages that the, the tank style on the 18 changes quite dramatically so um just want to try to explain my dilemma a little bit more so um this is a cs1 tank but that must be a later model that that looks way too high for um the, the cs the cs1 that um is in the other images that looks closer to it which is um the, the one that you're proposing to make that's an interesting idea i'll come back to that in a minute so that's a bsa tank the CS1, so that's, that's the same kind of bike. Here we go again. So this, this is a CS1, and it's got um, got the gauge um, in the in the tank. That's quite an interesting idea. Um, yeah, going back here a minute. So you've got a big cut out here, which I was hoping that would allow um, space for the oil inspection and an oil filler cap. But looking up here. There's hardly any cutaway um, around the headstock, so that would be, um, you know, a big cutout would have to be made there. And the tank is fairly flat, and it sits fairly low down on the frame, so there's not a lot of space between the filler cap and, and where the frame um, would be. Uh, same CS1. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So that, that's, I love the shape of that. So that is a Model 18. Um, <clears throat> this could be a CS1 again, but that's a really thin tank that, that looks similar to the one that you're proposing to build. 
Um, let me just check. Is this a CS1? And that's a very slightly different. This is a CS1. And it's a very slightly different tank. There's a different kind of finish at the bottom of, of these ones. Like um, going back to this, this effect here. Um, So that's a big four, similar to the CS1. Um, another CS1. CS1, again, you've got that finish at the bottom, which um, on the earlier machines. Um, and you can see the it comes right to right to the front of the headstock, that, um, that tank. And another CS1. Another CS1. Let's keep going. So this is the kind of tank shape I'm aiming to go for. So kind of squat, and I think that look really neat. It hasn't got the same finish on the bottom. So this is a model, the Model 18 again, um, 1930. It's got. Um, so that it it um, it doesn't look quite as flat. That one maybe has a flat top, but this one, I don't know. Just. Um, just looks very slightly more rounded to me, but you know either way. That, yeah, that's 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 obviously got a flat top, and it's very flat. The look of that. Um, so, but that's that's a pretty tank. Okay, well, it's probably easiest to explain this on the screen. So, um, here's the Triumph frame. Okay. And then there's, from the illustration, there's a Model 18 tank. Um, I've used the dimensions from the frame and your instructions for the base, you know, uh, length of the tank. And the thing is, I'm not sure what tank you've got there. So this is the, the Junior, or it's the same shape pretty much as the... Um, as the CS1, ES2, or, or, or the Model 18. So. That one, I think, might just about work in terms of... What I've got here is basically that as, as a Norton frame underneath the Triumph, sort of the Triumph frame superimposed on the top of the Norton frame of a similar era. It's not exactly the same as the frame, but it's near as damn it. And I haven't got the size for the Norton frame, but that's not important. But I just put it there because of the angle. It's not too dissimilar to the Norton frame. So this short tank could possibly fit... Um, you know the, the that tap would have to move um, further forward, otherwise it getting in the way of the subframe. Um, the headstock, sorry, the the, the yokes are not going to be um, in the way of, of the front of the tank. Just one other thing, I may as well show you the back end. What I was thinking of doing um, is fabricating something out of steel, so like a, a flat track back end. So um, if it could put a put a saw through there bend this up a little bit and and then uh, then weld that back together you know put a leather seat on but do something similar to this but in steel so so you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have this fiberglass sitting on on top there but you just have this this section here fabricated out of steel um directly welded onto here onto the subframe um so that that's where i was thinking of going so i've got to think about paint um Thinking of like a, a I think it's a, a neon orange. I think my kids were suggesting like a metallic sort of candy neon orange. Uh, so yeah, so this bit would have to be orange, and then the frame a different color. So I'm not too sure. Or the other thing was chrome. So maybe I might build something that that uh, bolts on here that's chromed. So I don't know. Not sure yet, but um. Yeah, I've got the got the wheels on the way, so um, yeah, I, um, no desperate hurry, but it would be uh, it'd be good to move forward with it. Thanks a lot, anyway.